your statewide forecast with meteorologist Pat Walker. Well, welcome back to Arkansas today. Temperatures generally on the cool side. Step outside, it's a little cool, a little breezy. We do have some temperatures, though, in the mid-60s in South Arkansas. El Dorado at 65. May see those upper 60s closer to 70 later this afternoon. Dequeen 61, Texarkana 61. Little Rock pretty cool at 53. Fayetteville's warmer 58 and lower 50s in northeast Arkansas. We've had a cold front move through, but it's come in from the northeast and it's sliding toward the southwest. So Fayetteville and Fort Smith kind of on the very end of getting that cool air, kind of like the way Camden and Monticello are. So we're seeing it kind of coming from northeast and swinging toward the east. But when it does that, it means the cool air is really not all that cool behind it, and it's going to be short-lived. So generally south, turning more to an easterly wind across the state as the airs come in, sliding eastward. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to see that wind back out of the southeast. But for today, a little cooler than yesterday. We'll reach the lower 60s here in Little Rock, the same probably up in Fayetteville. We'll see some upper 60s in south and in southwest Arkansas, but mid to upper 50s at most in northeast Arkansas. Boy, oh boy, yesterday was great, wasn't it? At least everybody in the state reached the 60s, and Camden actually hit 70 degrees yesterday. We may get close to 70 in far south Arkansas. Now, no more rain in the forecast for today, and tomorrow will be dry. There is rain back in the forecast for Wednesday, but just keep in mind, we have several rivers, particularly in the eastern part of the state, that have flood warnings on them. In fact, the Mississippi River all the way from north of Arkansas, past south of Arkansas, flood warnings all up and down that. If you travel anywhere into east Arkansas, you can see flood waters galore from the Cache River, the White River, all the way up and down uh, the, the eastern side of the state. Even the Washita River down in south Arkansas from Camden to the Louisiana state line has a flood warning on that too. That's just from all the recent rains we've had here over the last few months. And these warnings have been in effect for several weeks. All right. Cloudy skies, though, across North Arkansas this morning. We had a few very light showers. Those wrapped up. Now, a band of clouds from North Arkansas, one through Central Arkansas, and generally sunny in South Arkansas this afternoon. So there's a front that's moved through, a little cooler, but you can see on the back end of that cold front, it's already a warm front. So our winds are now more easterly. Warm front will eventually move in really tonight and into tomorrow. It'll still be a chilly night for tonight as the front lifts over us northward tomorrow. We'll see our winds back to the south. and. It may not warm us up, that south or southeast wind, but what it will do will transport some moisture, some humidity for this next cold front to, to interact with Wednesday. Now, there may be a few showers, very light ones in northwest Arkansas Wednesday morning, but particularly the better chance of rainfall will be from Little Rock to Jonesboro, maybe Hot Springs, Little Rock to Jonesboro, and then point southeastward Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening, down into the Delta, where we have river flood warnings is where we're likely going to see most of the rainfall. And behind that, Thursday and Friday, both will be dry days. Now, we don't want any rainfall, obviously, for those flooding concerns and just wet grounds in general. But at least some good news is that the rain that we're expecting for Wednesday should not be too much. A few hundreds to maybe a tenth of an inch of rainfall. And I don't think anywhere we'll see anything even at or above a quarter of an inch. All right, that's our statewide forecast. Now, here's your local forecast.